Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma Fodovic beginning 18th of October 2021. I'll have two cards per day for every day of this week. So Monday the 18th of October for you Scorpio and it's page of swords. Tuesday the lovers, Wednesday the hermit. Thursday, Knight of Wands, Friday, Queen of Pentacles, Saturday, Ten of Wands, and Sunday with the High Priestess. What? The Devil, your influencing energy, Scorpio. Anyway, Page, page of Swords on Monday with Five of Swords. The Lovers with a Five of Wands, Tuesday the Hermit with a Page of Cups, Wednesday Knight of Wands, Thursday with a Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Friday with a Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Saturday with a Three of Swords and the High Priestess with the Hermit. The Sun and the Devil, your influencing energy, two majors. These two are very scorpionic. You do have your need to hide, not to show yourself, not to show your true self. Your This is your truth, your joy, your, your plans for your future, beautiful energies that you have within yourself, but you don't want you, people to know you are hiding it. And not just that you are hiding, you are concealing it with something else, try to manipulate people, not even to speculate, not even to say, what you are about you don't want people to feel you okay being perhaps very cold towards other people yet you love that person completely different that that what you are showing that what you want people to see it's not who you are hiding yourself in your deepest parts of you not allowing to be seen in fact allowing something else to be seen some kind of you are manipulating out their situation in order truth to be concealed completely okay very much secrecy uh, hiding something hiding you're definitely hiding something some sort of manipulative situation is out there just in order for real situation not to be known and not to be seen. Now, Monday with the Page of Swords and Five of Swords, I, I, I think you will have some, some kind of information, some kind of communication, some, something that will change your mind and it's not going to be positive and you're not going to like it. You might feel as a winner on this day in a way, but then another one will be loser. They won't, they won't be happy situation, okay? Perhaps it's consequence of these manipulative moments, okay? Something is clear out there. On Monday, something is known on Monday, but you will absolutely not be happy with that, what was known, what was clear, you know, what truth came out here on Monday. You won't be happy with that at all. Now, the lover's energy on Tuesday with the five of wands, Lover's energy is lovely. We are talking about everything that is love and with love and choosing and making decision about another person, about your way of life, about your way forward, about anything, decision that you are making with love. This decision is important. This person is important. And somehow with that, what is happening on Tuesday, you, you kind of cannot make mistake. It might happen that the things are going up and down this or that way, but adjustments, adjustments are happening on Tuesday, definitely in that regard. You will be adjusted. You will go right way. It will happen the way that is perfect for you. Okay, that is meant for you, that is destined for you, but on this day, you will not be sure about it, all right? You will still, you are still looking for your routine, for your understanding, you are still bubbling with ideas, you are not sure with yourself, you, you are not in harmony, you are still in this chaos, okay? Not really understanding what, is it really good for you, or it's going to be bad, or what consequence you gonna be facing after this day but it will be all right because 
Lovers energy guarantees right way, guarantees love. There is all this protection for to protect love. But on this day, you are not really sure about what is going on because it will be a little bit random on this day. Now the Hermit and Page of Cups. Again, this emotional volatility, emotional uncertainty, feeling as a child, seeing your future optimistically for the moment and then facing difficulties out there, not being sure, not understanding what is really going on. You see, both of these days, I, I believe up until Thursday for what I saw, okay? It will be push and pull for you, Scorpio. Things are, you know, all the cards are showing that things are happening very positive and it's happening kind of like a like a like something that is destined for you and it has to happen but you are showing resistance you are kind of not ready you are not recognizing it the things are happening in your favor for your own good that you are destined to be on that path that it is karmic change karmic karmic decisions that are that you are facing in here you are just not aware of it and you are in all chaos within yourself okay you cannot find your way you cannot Calm yourself. This energy isn't calm. Page of Cups isn't calm. You are trying to be positive. You are trying to be happy for that what is possible in your life. But somehow then you are facing difficulties. Okay, this hermit energy says you have to sacrifice something. You have to put an extra effort. You have to be diligent. You have to work hard. You have to think hard until you have this wisdom until you understand, until you have solution. You see what I'm saying? It's not easy on you. Outer energy is that what is happening and it is. Things are happening like forcefully towards you in that sort of sense. It's positive. It has to happen. It's kind of tide that catches you and, and you are panicking and you are trying to resist but you are forced, you know, forward into something else and it will be all right you will understand everything will be just fine it's just that kind of moment of i don't know kind of panic that i felt here perhaps up until thursday definitely by wednesday for sure now night of wands present on thursday is very positive energy it could be some fire sign okay maybe some aries leo or sagittarius person in your environment or, or just a situation that is very productive this energy that is uh, coming towards you with enthusiasm um, something that's supposed to create a beautiful thing in your life this is very creative energy enthusiastic fast one just pops up in, in front of you let's do this let's create these things it's going to happen now today that energy is like that could be also a person as I said that comes in that sense let's Scorpio do this now it's gonna be successful it's going to be beautiful something like that comes from your environment but you are cool customer in here you are not jumping with excitement you are kind of pulling back Okay, as much this person rushes forward, that this situation pushes you forward, it's optimistic, it will create, it's enthusiastic, it's passionate, move forward, do it now. You are, no, 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 not right now, not sure. You see what I'm saying? All the time, up until Thursday, I mean, you are with this push and pull energy, you're kind of panicking. As I, as I said, it's, it's a strong tide. Um, that is taking you suddenly somewhere and you are resisting it because you don't know what is it. You don't understand the work of destiny in here. I mean, it, it's not that you, it's something wrong with you, okay? It's very normal when things are happening in a big way. That's what I really felt. Things are happening in a sudden, in a big way, and you are resisting just because it's too much. You just feel it's too much. You, can take, you cannot take it so much in that sense. Now, Friday is quite nice with this very stable, very grounded energy. Finally, we have something very grounded, very much caring. Maybe your mother or somebody who is business person, somebody who's your boss, 
clears up situation, does something for you. The whole situation with this screen of pentacles is grounded. You do understand what is happening, what is manifesting out there, okay? What is on the ground, that's what you see. This is what you see, this is what you know. What is out there for sure, okay? There's no confusion, there's no guessing. Second thoughts or second guess, nothing with this one. This energy is certain and it's very lovely to have here. Yeah. Could be also a person like that that brings that security, that steadiness, that groundness. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, maybe Taurus person in your environment, maybe your mother, maybe your boss, as I said. But by all means, you will welcome on Friday this energy. That energy will bring massive optimism, okay? As much as you have uncertainty and fear and tremor here Monday till Thursday, optimism is replacing it because now you see for what it is. It's grounded, it's visible, landed. Okay, so from that point, now you can see your future, you can plan something, you can in visualize, you can fantasize, you see what I'm saying? Seven of Cups is your options. We are talking your options now for your money, for your career, for your future. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that it will happen exactly the same way as you are visualizing in the year, as you are fantasizing here. What is important that groundness and certainty brings optimism. Yet earlier was all uncertain, all unknown, all not sure. You see what I'm saying? Here you know exactly and you are happy about it. You can plan your future with this energy of Queen of Pentacles because it is certain, it's visible, it's known. No, Saturday, rather unpleasant day because there is, a, I don't know, something that is your burden. And, you know, you just had this relief on, on Friday and now again comes, you know, this ten of wands, something that you are carrying for a prolonged period of time. For a prolonged period of time, you do have this burden and you are carrying with you. This is... So maybe some ideas in your mind, maybe some practical work that you are doing over and over again, maybe something that you're studying, maybe who, whatever that is, you are with it and you're not going to give up, you're very diligent in here. For some reason, um, bringing that task to an end, for some reason, is very important for you. Somehow delays are there, perhaps. You thought that perhaps your, your troubles, your burdens are over, perhaps that what you do it will be over, it will be perhaps, but not now that is your disappointment maybe you wanted this burden some, this difficult situation to be over, that, that this, something is lasting there that was difficult with you uh, uh, Scorpio your expectations were perhaps of that on Friday um, that optimism that, that was kind of flash of optimism that you felt on Friday um, perhaps brought this thought that difficulties are over, you're not going to have it anymore, but on Saturday appears again, it's still there, you still have to deal with that, it is difficult, but you have to carry it for, I don't know, some more time, for whatever reason, you are not happy with that. Look, these two majors on Sunday, again, feeling these difficulties, not knowing when and how it's going to be over, okay? In that sense, feeling this work of destiny. You do definitely feeling it on this day. You do understand difficulties. You do understand where you are going. You do have a wisdom, okay, within yourself. But still, you don't have full picture about what is happening, about consequences, about outer world. You are not comprehending it completely. You are not knowing it completely. You are not into it. Things are happening and by Sunday, you are still not grasping everything completely. Still unknown, still secretive, still difficult for you. You are feeling these difficulties. You have to be wise. You have to surmount I don't know, something in your life, okay? This, this is, you have to still bring something to an end. You still have to complete something. Things are happening and it seems 
this week brings complexity in here. Something important is changing in your life, but complexity is there. It's not just one thing. It's a many things that are following each other. You, you just agree and you just understood, oh, this is changed and it's good. You just accepted something that was difficult. You just understood something. Um, another thing jumps, jumps up. You are just grounded with these things. Just accepted it as part of your life, okay? Now, again, you know, reminder, yes, yes, but some more is there to be done, some more to finish, some more to complete. You see what I'm saying? Lots of these fluctuating energies of push and pull, and one thing you understand, another one comes up. Deal now with that. You deal with that, another thing comes all week like that. I kind of have feeling that um, you are destined to do something that you, where you are destined to be. That is your destiny, okay, is happening in here. And you do not understand why and how, but the big change that your destiny is bringing, your, I don't know, universe is bringing for you, you are enduring this week. And it's a massive and it's big and it will hit you with many stuff until you change one thing after another, after another, after another, you will eventually begin to swim into karma waters eventually. But for now, things are push and pull. Lot for you to deal with. But somehow important. I don't know. I kind of felt such importance of this week. Anyway, enjoy it.